struggled with drug addiction and she was constantly going back and forth from jail to rehab and then when she was out of rehab she would be able to take care of me and Kenny so we'd move back in with her and then that would be good for about like a year or so and then she'd relapse and so then we'd go back with our grandparents so it was constantly we were migrating from grandparents to mom to grandparents to mom but we never really knew why our mom was leaving we just thought she had to leave. Um, so it was a Friday. We were in seventh grade at Dwyer Middle School and our cousins came in from Arizona and our grandparents told us that morning that right after school they would pick us up with our cousins and we would go to Disneyland. We were so excited so our grandpa was like okay let's go. So we got up and as we were walking down we were skipping singing Disneyland songs and our grandpa was way behind us just kind of strolling and we were waiting for him to open the truck and my grandpa came up to us with teary eyes and then he told us that our mom passed away in rehab that night on an overdose of drugs. She really took it hard. I just took two weeks off of school. I stayed with my family. I didn't want to be around people. I didn't want to be with any friends or anything. Or just thought that she wanted to do. We handled it completely opposite. I would say we probably got a lot closer to our grandparents because at that moment they were mom and dad figures now. We had yet to be baptized. My grandpa knew that was something our mom always wanted us to get done just when we were old enough to comprehend what it actually meant. And so my grandpa took the honor and decided to baptize both me and my sister. Soccer really became a huge part of our life about eighth grade. For me specifically, it was something I could do to stay focused and keep my head high. And same with Kennedy. Like if any school wanted me, they didn't want Cody. If any school wanted Cody, they didn't want me, which kind of sucks because we wanted to go to college together. We were at a college showcase one day. A college coach came up to our club coach and handed brochures talking about their summer camp and asked if our coach can pass it out at the end of the game just to see if anyone's interested and this was Colorado Christian University so I got that brochure and I looked at it and I've never really thought about going to a Christian University until I saw that brochure and the way I took it was I thought it would be interesting to go to my very first college camp so me and my sister used this camp as a tool to kind of assess what other college camps will look like. Me and Kennedy got no recognition from the coach. And me and Kennedy were getting really frustrated because we didn't understand why the small school wasn't noticing us. And as we were leaving, our grandparents came and got us. And the coach came and was like, girls, 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 why are you leaving so fast? I need to talk to you guys. She thought that we were the standouts of the camp. And right there, she offered us a scholarship to come to CC Women's Soccer. My relationship with the Lord couldn't be stronger. And I give all of that to CCU because I know if I didn't come to CCU, I wouldn't be like that. It's helped me mature a lot too. Being away from home, family, and friends, coming to a new place, I had to grow up and it helped me become who I am today. Yeah, I think CCU has really helped me to mature. My relationships with other people and my relationships with the Lord. I, I was a Christian, I've always been a Christian, but I didn't have the foundation that I now have thanks to being at CCU. I did not ever think that I was going to come out of CCU being engaged and being married. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I love Eduardo. He's the best. 